when people power began he saw it as an inconsequential irrelevant group you know he said these young people here they should just go to what did he say sabrina hey these young people here i forced to reckon with and that's why i don't know whether we'll talk about the electoral reforms at some point that's why you know he has proposed those um, ridiculous electoral reforms but but anyhow in our quest to show him that um, we are not just a wave, we are a serious group which he has now begun to fear, we thought let's let's begin to structure and organize this wave. Um, it's good that the support is all over the place and so on, but um, that we, we must organize. And some people kept saying, form a political party. And we said, look, to be organized, you don't necessarily need to form a political party. And besides, we are providing a platform in a way trying to bring together the several political parties but especially individuals that are interested in a smooth transition of power in this country that are interested in seeing our country get better that are interested in seeing a uganda that works for all whether you come from the ghetto or from kololo educated or not young old uh, rich poor whatever the case might be and um that's the journey that we took um hence the the, the beginning to structure the beginning to get organized have coordinators People are going to do mobilization for us across the country in in a way to, you know, when we were young, we, we used to play around with magnifying glasses. You'd get a glass and the magnifying glass, put it on top of a paper and it would burn the paper. Uh, why that happens is because there's rays all over the place. But uh, when the rays are focused, they're a lot more effective. So we've had this, this support all over the place, call it rays. Now we are focusing it such that it can become effective and that's the journey that we yeah. have begun so you don't think it is a bit naive publishing your mm. uh war, war, war chest uh, putting out your your commanders look we 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 are cognizant of, of everything they are going to throw at us including the chicken sink um but but we are operating in a political environment and uh we must do so because if somebody in Kabong, I have, for example, for, for, you know, from the time I became a spokesperson, I've been receiving calls from everywhere, and, and yet I cannot attend to all of them. You know, so you know that if you're from Kabong, if you're from Tororo, there's somebody that, you know, there's a group <coughs> of coordinators that uh, can attend to you. You don't have to reach out to the spokesperson or to the Honorable Chagulani, and so that's the essence. Yeah. Um, President Museveni and his government, you know, will obviously... Uh, do whatever they have to do and then they have begun because the day after our declaration we did see some people <laughs> uh, who did come out to denounce and and look we were very expectant of this even as a plan we knew that um after we have unveiled these are coordinators you know some of them might jump ship um i saw for example the honorable builder nadome uh, from karamoja and i also had the honorable susan amero uh, saying they were never consulted and I thought my goodness politicians have mastered the art of being disingenuous mm. um, Being dishonest <laughs> Look <laughs> This everybody on the official list, you know, there's been several lists that have been making the rounds of social media fake mm. lists But there's one official list which I read at uh, the press conference and which we released it has our logo And it has my signature spokesperson at the end. That's mm. the only official list So there are some names actually that don't appear on that list but they're on these fake ones. You know, I saw the Honorable and uh, Deke and a couple of others. She's not on our official list. You know, she's on that fake list, wherever it is from. Uh, but there are those, again, on the official and list. Uh, <laughs> and, and. But, but, but as I was saying, so there are those on the official list yes. who have that, jumped ship. And like I was saying, it is OK. Side. But they are being very dishonest oh. because we consulted each one of them and they conceded. Well, Look, I'm, I called the Honorable well, Adome the day before. Let me just finish this. Mm -hmm. Before the press conference, just to remind him. And he said, don't worry, I'm, I'm just going to the, uh, run to Parliament, finish a quick meeting, then I'll join you for the press conference. Later in the evening, the man says I was never consulted. But anyhow, we expected all of this. And that's okay. Uh, it's free entry, free exit. Because yeah. anyhow, I have been getting numerous calls, some from MPs and a couple of other people yeah, complaining they were not included on the list. So be we shall fill them up. Back again. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's free entry, free exit. So okay. if he comes back, come in. Why so, not? Le thinking about you personally, what, what inspired yeah. you to mm. leave uh, a good job with a uh, national broad <laughs> East African broadcaster mm. and to join People Power that was shaky at the time? Look, it's, it's something that um, I excogitated <laughs> over for months. Yeah. Uh, it was but not an easy decision. Easier words, words. Ah, since we have OO, let me make it easy for him. <laughs> 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 it is something that I thought about. Yeah, yeah, calm down. I you see, you know, you're being insolent to me. So you thought about we, it, you for, worried about for, it. For months, it was not an easy decision. Journalism was always my first love. I began anchoring news and hosting talk shows 
in 2006 when I was 19 years old in my six back on UBC. Mm. And, and so it is parties, something that I had always loved. You went to people power. By the way, mm. um, you see, people power the way the way it started, it didn't start expecting it would become what it is today. We were a group of guys, you know, our friends that would meet up for tea. Uh, some politicians, some journalists, lawyers, and so on. Meet up in the evenings of a cup of tea and, and just talk. Talk about the goings on in our country, our professions, the issues we are struggling with. And then we, we kept, you know, discussing. We, we never, by the way, really thought it would become what it is today. Uh, but along the way, we thought we can do a couple of things, you know. And one of the activities was when we heard about this ridiculous social media tax, uh, which these hypocritical MPs passed. Later on learning it was a ridiculous thing. Even they did not want to pay it. They wanted us, the taxpayers, to pay it for them. But we thought, okay. this is wrong. This is not even politics, it's economics. So for people and uh, we said, let's get involved. Who called you? Who, who called you? But I'm telling you how it started. Uh, I used to be a part of these groups who would meet. So and uh, who, the, 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 the team, uh, the team, you know, uh, kept saying, Joel, you, you should speak for this. And uh, I said, no, I can't do this. Um, so it was <laughs> deliberation for quite a bit of time until I thought, you know what, the, the uh, somebody them. has got to do and, this. And finally mm. about you personally, who pays you? Mm. So who, who pays your salary? Look, um, People Power has not yet grown to, and, and we hope to get there, by the way, yeah. where we can have, you know, uh, resources coming in as greatly so the as they should. Are you a volunteer? I'm a volunteer. Right. Um, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, every when you are competing with the world facilitated oh, oh. <laughs> mm, we well. so but, but you know some of these tough decisions yeah, have got to be exactly. to be made and uh, you make your small your contribution however small okay uh, Lydia here's an opportunity to wish uh, people power well they, they they are cleaning up as you wish them to do they've published their leaders in different areas and all You'd say now that they're maturing because your first encounter with with, with uh, people power, I remember you saying, was quite frightening. But now you have here the face of people power and people that can uh, discuss and so on. It's not true that I was frightened. Where did you get that from? You told me yourself on no, Gang when you met no, the I, Gang has the, records. The replay, replay, yeah, replay, oh yeah. replay. Let me tell you what you said. Replay. No, I don't tell me. Replay the record. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have to be yeah, factual. Replay. You, you <laughs> met Gotas. <laughs> you <laughs> said <laughs> they frightened <laughs> you. Uh, they were all wearing red. I didn't know there were people power. I just I, I described Gotas. I not. I never said there were people power. But you can replay the It looks like a duck. Walks like a duck. Cracks like a duck. It is a duck. I found the with stone stone <laughs> in our vehicles, I never said it was people power. So I described the people I saw in the Bujiri by election. So this time round, will you so congratulate them? So is that what you them? call people power today? This time round, will Uganda's you congratulate them? Heckler in chief. Will you congratulate them this time round? <laughs> no, not, I, I, I don't know how, what to say because uh, let me begin with a correction to, to Joel. Joel, even in the politics, whether, whether you are lamenting God for now jumping ship, it's also good to be honest with yourself. Um, you launched was it yesterday or the other day, a team that is going to work with you, and if people were not consulted or they feared or they jumped out, they're not ready to stand day and night like some of us do for my party, it's okay. But for you to come and blame whatever has happened on your list, I was listening to you. If for you to come and blame whatever is happening to your list and people to on the NRM and how President Museven is such a scared, I think it's not fair because he did not participate in your listing the people. He did not participate in your uh, li uh, consulting them or omission or commission of it. But what is coming out that people have run away, many of them have run away from the list. How many? We have, uh, we have not had those that are joining. Name the names. How so my, my, my point oh. is, my point you is. You said many. Many. I, I mean, I, if, I if, have if, Lydia's if, microphone on. If so. There are many. But if, mm -hmm. you, if you are say, telling us that uh, the, your coordinators are from Teso, Teso is a big district, it is a big region, it has, it's the third biggest population. It is, it is how the 11 districts, there are many. So if you are going to tell us that they, they, they are telling, they are not sure that they are not part of your list, you cannot blame that President Museveni. I think be, be real to yourself. You are, you are calling him the biggest coward. In what, how is it, how is he, his he cowardice played out in your listing and you want the of commission? No, you know what I'm asking because you are, you are, you are blaming, you are blaming. I'm, I'm putting, yeah, there's a moderator, they are, they are putting, we are putting very question to your debate. So I think focus on your campaign. There are rights that are fundamental to you. And, and, and uh, I even want to tell Oscar this, that Ugandans are free to organize, and the future of our country also be belongs to the organized. 
Let them organize, uh, compete for power, and take it. Okay. But we don't, I, me, I, I don't want to sit here and listen to blame games on NRM on, and on our leader. It's not correct. Just run the battle, put on your, your uh, up your sleeves, <coughs> fight your battle, win the vote, and, and lead us. I, I'll, be, I'll be in Uganda, I'll not stop being a Ugandan, and I'll look forward to leading me if you win a joint election. But okay, blaming okay. NRM, blaming President Seven will not help you anyway. It will not help it you won't. because, you, yeah, it won't help you. you, 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 you that's not the way to do uh. things. And uh, for those who have jumped in and those who are jumping out, it happens. It's, it's very difficult. To, to begin blaming the NRM for people who have jumped out who are jumping in. Oscar, I don't know if Lydia was attentive. I, I actually did not blame no. you responding again. You said right. that the president is the coward, the most biggest coward. But that's a different point. That was a different point. And let's point. talk about oh, reforms when I say that. Mm. Thank you, Lydia. Let me finish. We have a leader in the name of Elidim Seveni, who is the government of Uganda, but also the chairman of the NRM. He's not a coward, he's a very firm leader, he's a firm <laughs> Ugandan, That's your and we are with him, yes. beside him, all the way Thank you, Lydia. to 2021. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Lydia, also accept that that's your opinion. Mm. So yeah, it is my opinion, I'm yes. a, and I'm also correcting facts here, yeah. okay. that he's not a coward. <laughs> no, it's not a fact, it's an opinion. <laughs> okay. It's a fact, he's a coward. Well, let's even take that uh, Mr. Nseven is a coward. Even Okun has admitted. No, let's Indeed. Take, no, <laughs> <laughs> so, let's take the same seven is a coward. Then what? So, yes. so what? Yeah. I agree with you on that one. <laughs> what, what is the evidence? And that will be tested. We say the proposed electoral report. The, mm -hmm. the, no, the, the test of the polling is in the eating. Yeah. Now, electoral Four reforms, let me go there. Basic. Electoral no, no, reforms. No, we'll do electoral reforms a little bit later. No, no, let's no, look no. at the launch of people no, power. No, no. Mr. Senyonyi is saying electoral reform is coming because they launched. <laughs> and they are saying no. no. That's not what I said. That. Electoral reform. I don't know why these elders no. are not attentive. Right electoral reform. Okay. Electoral reform. Okay. In 20, 2015, you remember the citizens' uh, compact? You remember I for the discussion? And so on and so forth. No, don't float in the mouth. I'm, uh, 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 I'm making my point. So, <laughs> these are processes <laughs> which like have... Your paper and then, starting then to 2016, it. you remember the Supreme Court? And so on, so everybody in the country, I think majority of the have no been agitating for electoral Yampi, just hold on. So, I think yes. it is wrong, it is false when for Lydia somebody... When next on microphone, she will it? say something yes, about it is, yes, language. Yes, it is false in, in to say paper. that electoral reforms or any government intervention tomorrow it's coming because of them but that's okay mr senyoni can drive can drum their chief two two he said he had a, he had a good job he, i'm sure he had a written terms and conditions of service you can then check mm -hmm. uh, how much he was earning what was his career growth path and in terms of Uganda no, 2020, no, you yes, should be proud no, of the job you had. No, no, that's what no, no, no. So I was actually very are, proud of my job, yeah, extremely. No, no, but now no. we're going into Lugambo. So, so mm. we can go and check yeah. his terms and conditions of service. What was his salary, what was his career yeah. growth. Maybe he had reached the end point of What's the, your point? The job. Three, Mr. Senyon, obviously, and many people who are singing people power, it's okay, let them form. I do consider people power, I have said on this show, that it is a passing way. How long will it last? Time will take. Will it be eaten like samosa? Uh, time, I'm saying, <laughs> time, <laughs> to, to, to time will take. I just think, many of them, first of all, as you know, if you have been reading the, the papers, many of them are people who have declared intentions to stand in different places. Mm -hmm. Mr. Senyonyi was a candidate in the previous election, he was global, <laughs> and I think you utilities, he was global, wanted to be a member of parliament in the, in the UK. That was in the previous election, it was 2011. I, 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 yeah, it's that's previous, that's facts. previous. Please understand English. That's previous. So, many of these people, I think, uh, who think that this wave can carry them to the next political journey. I think also many of them are people simply blending in the crowd and they are going to go through the revolving door. This is what I <laughs> think. Yeah, 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 I think, so I, I, I think so. Oh, 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 so. I question to you. Do, I, mm -hmm. do you think people power is a threat to NRM or not? 
Yes, it is. Mm. It is a threat to NRM. First of all, because of the mendacious way they do their things. We said use easy words today. Mm. Mendacious. It's right to uh, make a comeback. Yeah, <laughs> mendacious. If somebody says, <laughs> some seven is a coward, yeah. when the, the record is set other way, then it's a mendacious, it's not genuine. Right. So, yes, it is, it, it is a threat in the sense that some of the things they are raising, some of the things they are raising are <laughs> genuine. Are genuine because NRM raised the expectation, NRM made pledges, NRM has been in charge for 33 years, NRM has been in charge of public resources, and we are not meeting those expectations so as, Ugan as Ugandans expect. So in that sense, they are a threat because they are raising a genuine concern, which in my view, NRM is not paying adequate attention to. And I think we should mm -hmm. be able to do so. Now, the, the, the other one, the a threat because if you can see that people power can have 14 MPs, sitting MPs, never mind, never mind the ones who have declined, never mind their intention, uh, some of them think that uh, uh, there's money going to come in the pocket, they're eyeing, you know, which, when... Which perhaps is not a bad thing. Uh, yeah, no, not a bad thing. You you know, no, 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 I, I, I remember when somebody said he was running for president from being a prime minister of Uganda, they thought he had the money. When he did not give the money, uh, you know where he ended. So it is a threat in the sense that if they can have 14 members of parliament, who can publicly associate with them? It is a threat not just to NRM, it is a threat to the established political narrative and we yep. should be able to say if this people power can bring people long serving MPs like Honorable Kassian uh, holding on the court of uh, a, 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 a member of parliament who is one year old uh, Honorable Winnie Kize can hold on a court of uh, you know then mm. it, uh, yeah, in that sense it is whose court are you holding I, I just court. think I just think <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just think. I so just think. Asks for you, whose court are you holding? I'm holding the court of Uganda. <laughs> I'm holding on the court of Uganda. I, 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 I just think that many of these are, op are optimist mm. schemers. Mm -hmm. And I say, and I dare and say, and I dare say. And is there anything say. wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong. Right. I dare say. Mm. Like in a real thing. They are going to fall like a pack of cards. It's not where Wadri is that I should be. First of all, uh, I will have to congratulate uh, the People Power Movement uh, for having gotten a team and also to start structuring themselves and, and, and compete for political power. You see, what has happened, for example, with, with our neighbors in Kenya, at every uh, election, there is a lot of realignments of forces and so on and they create special purpose vehicles to compete for power. At the end of the day, you always have two forces yeah. uh, competing for power, real forces. Mm. Real. And not three, you only have two. You know, it's like <coughs> the, maybe in the US, it is always about the Republicans and the Democrats everywhere. Uh, almost mm. everywhere. So what I think, I haven't uh, had time to discuss it with any of them, to, to, but I'm just speculating what I think they are trying to do is to create that sort of forum where they can have uh, an opposition as against the status quo. Um, in Uganda, unfortunately, you will not have two, you you now have three. Can they reconcile with what they They're call the, this is the people's government, for example? <laughs> because uh, I, I, I see the people's government doing its parallel uh, activities and sometimes uh, when you read the mode, they're a little bit conflicting with the people power movement. 
is it possible for them to yeah. come to the same forum mm -hmm. and then you have that movement as opposition and then whether they, they get married people power and the people's government then you have another group the NRM that we are yet to see but you see oh, oh you, you call this a wave and I agree with you this is a wave it's a wave but by the time the wave subsides mm -hmm. it has, yes, casual some, some it casualties. has casualties and uh, you about you are you've started uh, a mirror, a mirror, hold a on a hold on case. you have started counting your losses yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, you've started because i see your mps this side openly mm -hmm. say so, ah this is not the thing we should be and so on and uh, this is just the beginning we are saying mm. from leadership level now we want to see how it goes down and mm. let me tell you these guys are not looking for money you are, you are, you are, you are not being honest but the, oh, who, I, who, who, who is not looking for it? He said that you know, the, these MPs who are joining people, power, people are But let me tell you, the you what happened. Is one giant and I, I, I have been this thing, oh, oh, you know, for quite mm -hmm. a long oh. time. Uh, I've been politics. longer than you. Politics for quite a long I've time. I've been in longer in politics than you. You remember our school oh, oh, It doesn't matter. Oh, oh no. Stop the clip. No, oh. we, we actually, we've spent the same time. I don't think we've been there longer than me. Right from mm -hmm. our days as youth leaders in, uh, in the UPC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yes, I've been longer there than you. <laughs> So what happened? Please, Abdul, don't remind us. Uh, you <laughs> see no, that. no, 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 Abdul and I were in the jig. Were in the jig. So yeah. you know, I was oh, a, one of the students. So <laughs> what these people are looking at is reading the mood of the, the nation and looking at the demograph of the country, what is exciting people and what can give them an opportunity. It is no longer fashionable to go to the youth and say here i am oh oh we are movement people i'm telling you it is not fashionable at all uh, just go there and say this is people power and then you see how how the youth will react and so on and we have a, a child population as you know uh, the majority of our people are below the ages of 25 and if you want people who are energe energetic, people who are daredevils, these jewelers who will say anything regardless of what, who will do anything, that is the concern. So saying things like coward. Oh yes, yes on his face, on anybody's face. There are not many. I, I uh, remember uh, 2001 when you took on uh, Mzee. Yeah, yes, I, I was the jewel age. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm now an old man. I was the jewel <laughs> age. I had, still had the fire and the belly and I could do these things. So does any political actor take power people power seriously it would be naive of anybody not yeah big naivety not to <coughs> not to so what they have to do is to do calculations and when i see some of the electoral funds <coughs> coming the particular provisions you are not supposed to ally with an independent candidate when he's yes, campaigning for yeah. presidents and so on i i read a little bit of people power scare the, and then you want to use the law to fight your political battles, which is actually yeah. very, we're, we're very... We're going to talk about it in a minute. Yes. Uh, just a uh, direct uh, question to you, Abdul, before you go off microphone here. It's, you know, oh, oh, is annoyed. Uh, does oh. does, does oh. people power evoke annoyance like they were like the one always exhibiting this morning? Am I annoyed? Uh, oh, yes. I have said... The, 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 uh, but yeah. the question was to Abdul. No, 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 but you see, first of all, uh, yeah. oh, 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 just uh, you are you annoyed. Yes, you are annoyed, and men are annoyed, <laughs> and you are entitled to be annoyed anyway. Uh, and there's reason for you to be annoyed, so really, that's got to be a big problem. <laughs> Why? Because the wave is, uh, is, is subsiding, but somehow uh, you are counting losses. Uh, wh wh is that you can't be happy with it, can you? It's no problem. No, his food is threatening. <laughs> Stand by. 
Welcome back from the break. Uh, Nanfi, you are on air. Uh, Nanfi, why isn't your name on the list? Uh, of people power? Of people power it, is, list. it is going to be on the list. I think in my home area, I'm the people power mobilizer. You right. think? And uh, uh, Nanfi, then, will then you, will be there. at the same time, First, how yes. you, <laughs> would, you, would you find time to apologize to people power people? Because right. as we say in Uganda, in the beginning, you looked down on them. You nearly chewed. Why, Oscar? Uh, why are you this person who speaks you, like you, this? You, <laughs> <laughs> why can I be Oscar? <laughs> it is your turn as well. Fast. You see. You, and, you um, nearly chewed Semuju here, and Semuju told you join in and everything. No, no. So you start with an apology that when people power first came. But if she no. says she's going to be a mobilizer, Oscar, it's why do you have to be a mobilizer? No, Oscar. Oscar. Are you getting a movie? What I'm saying is, of course, when they first came to power, you see. Which power? <laughs> when they first came to, to fall. To the fall. Mm. Uh, when someone criticizes you, in my, in my language we say, a person who loves is the one who criticizes you. A fly which loves you will follow your wound to tell you yeah. that you need to treat this wound. You understand the same. I did not criticize people power because I thought what they were onto was wrong. No. I did not criticize Honorable Chagulani because what I thought they were on to was wrong, was a wrong path. No. I just criticized them so that they can see the weakness, work on them, and do a better job if we are to get uh, this coward out of power. And he's a coward because if you stop a mere musician half your age from staging shows, if you stop people walking to work from demonstrating that we are unhappy with the status quo and we need to do better. A, a little while if ago, you, you, up, you and uh, Joe saying that I've stopped you, but the president clarified and that he doesn't mind he doesn't being mind. insulted. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, because but annoying his person is not annoying. Exactly. So if, if it, it's our opinion, it's whoever's opinion, and in my opinion, this is a raging coward. He's been a coward for years and years, and he's still a coward. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not those people who think that people who go to the bush and kill people are uh, courageous. No, they are cowards as well. So this whole mm -hmm. story that I brought peace, when you took the peace away, is cowardly as well. So that aside, I think first, Joel, let me say thank you for getting out there, getting out of your comfort zone and coming to the fore to try and fight for what we all want to fight for. I refuse to sit here and criticize their effort and what they are trying to do. Does it have weaknesses? Yes. Do they have opportunists amongst them who are going to try and weaken the party and all the... Yes, they will, because they, this is the nature of the game. This is the nature of politics. That will be there. But I'm happy that they are coming to put s systems in place, that they are trying to put certain structures to try and make what they are trying to do more legitimate and to go forward to a more legitimate standing. Where it will all end, I hope it will end with Uganda getting better leaders for tomorrow. We sit here and every day criticize the youth, the elite, and people who, you know, are in good positions from not joining politics and not trying to change lives. And these young men and women have gotten out of their comfort zone, have left their jobs, which I don't care how much they were earning or which pinnacle they have reached or Fono Pondo, these were their jobs which did not threaten them with imprisonment every day to try and say, look, we as young people deserve better. We as young people want to get the future, put it in our hands and uh, take it to the next level. Will it be perfect? No, it's not going to be perfect. They're going to be, but we have <coughs> to start somewhere. And kudos for people power. We have started somewhere. They have started somewhere we to take us to the next level. <laughs> At least I like the fact that there were no old, you know, or, or, like it was not filled with old, tired people who have been paid off by NRM time and time again and who use an opportunity to just further their stomachs. I like that. I like that it's young people who are trying. <laughs> of course, it's, it doesn't look good when uh, the, the, the immediate outcome is full figure quarreling with, with Bobby White. No, that doesn't look. And these are areas they need to work on. They need to be more serious and uh, send more serious messages than Mama Fina or full figure kind of thing. One but day, having said that, Mama Fina is in area. <coughs> well, whatever, well, well, Mama uh, what area, yeah. well, But what yeah, I'm Nancy, saying is, Nancy, you go to people power. I am in people here? power, or no. Yeah. All of us should be, even you, because your children are in this country that you're trying to ruin. 
Might so it doesn't NRM, matter what you say, you're in NRM, NRM. boohoo for you, my you are eating well and your stomach is fat. You, but a time will come when, when it won't be like that. And then what do you do then? <laughs> Once upon a time, people like you were eating and then one, uh, the other day, uh, the, the next time they were not eating because they fell out of favor with the president. So what so happens to them? So that. in conclusion, this I, it's like a young child who is trying to get off their feet. You do not criticize them when they fall. It's part of the process. Those uh, silly childish MPs who during the day appear to be one thing and at night appear to be another are part of the process. And uh, Joel, do take heart. They will be part of the process. They say nothing about your effort. They say nothing about people power and where people power wants to go. Stick to your, your, your agenda. Stick to your desire to make this country better. And that is the, the message that you should be getting out of there. Do not be dragged down in petty quarrels and petty discussions. If someone tells you that this MP refused to, to, to be part of people power in the release, tell them that is not our point. Our point is we want a better country and we are willing to take it better and to make it better. It's as simple as that. Okay. Whichever MP comes on and off, that is their problem, not yours. Thank you, Nam. Uh, Honorable Semuju, begin mm. by <coughs> congratulating Nambi on a different kind of speech. Today. <laughs> 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 people follow. We are people I, I told her, yeah. uh, I remember that time which you wanted to rewind. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> that, uh, you need to go and do something instead of uh, um, all the time criticizing. So I am happy and I want to congratulate her. <laughs> uh, <coughs> that now she says uh, she is people power. Um, with a little bit of uh, uh, training, she will be a very good leader. <laughs> 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 because I want to hear Is that a compliment? <laughs> 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 a backhanded one? <laughs> she should also be wanting to be a But I want to congratulate uh, Paul Power for mm. yes, shaping up. Be, be, before mm -hmm. you congratulate them, I yeah. have Tony Kent Chazza here on Twitter. He says, uh, replays a bit of what you've been saying uh, at some way I'm okay. why are you asking Katuntu, why are you not on the list? So Abdu says, why should I be on that list? And then uh, uh, Chazza says, it's not a presidential handshake list. <laughs> and Kasigaire <laughs> says, that's the one I should be on. <laughs> so, Honorable <laughs> Semuju, why aren't you, yes, on, why aren't you on that <laughs> list? He's wearing an FDC shirt and he's back in blue. I am in the FDC. Okay. There were the some FDC <coughs> people. Yes, that's the point. That's that, the point uh, I want to make next. They mm. want to meet some of the problems we've made, um, <coughs> asking leaders to make themselves available. Mm. Where we are now, and I think it's a point to Chris they made uh, when he was addressing the people's assembly. The <laughs> leaders are making calculations. <laughs> in the last election, they had an MP because I was just, in charge of. <coughs> Some of the challenges. Why this? What you call the leader? The, the, what did you call it? people's assembly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why was it at a home? And, and Why don't I first finish this, Oscar? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't forget this You're going to uh, <clears throat> So part of the challenge, I was in charge of Dr. Vesey's uh, nomination 2016. Um, you, people, you, you know that, actually this one, at least for mm. them, you, people we knew that these are FDC. Mm. They denounce you immediately. <laughs> but I had an MP whose name I will not say, Today. That MP <coughs> met, met M7 and she was a part of M7's meeting preparing for his nomination. In the evening she was meeting our members. And then when I go to to Who when I go to to number to number to nominate VCG, to I found her seated there. <laughs> so within three days she had been in three camps that we are competing. <laughs> So these know. things are here, you are going to meet them, um, senior, but they shouldn't tie you. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people who would want uh, something from people power because they mm -hmm. their electoral fortunes. Mm -hmm. They would want to go to seven for money because they need to print posters. If they are in an area that is FDC, they will want to nominate as FDC MPs. They will want to have everything. And that has been a very big challenge um, <coughs> that we made, that you will meet. But I congratulate you by shaping up now. It becomes easier um, to, more, to begin, yes. begin Get uh, a discussion with those of us who are institutionalized in, um, in, 
in politics. Uh, because you see, the moment you don't have an institution that people can engage with, it becomes difficult even to hold you to your own words. And, 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 and because you see, the word you've said as an individual, you can change, and but, but institutions can, can be consulted. One other problem you're going to find is going to be from us who are already there. Uh, I know that when the Abdus were starting FDC, they faced it. When I told me, because one time I attended the meeting of FDC, and they were very angry that DP is attacking us. He said, I am shocked. The moment you are new and you are recruiting from existing platforms, you should expect them to be angry. They can't be cheering yes, you up. It's part of it. Because yeah, the recruitment. The people's mm -hmm. assembly was a response. But because, because you are recruiting from <laughs> them, or you have people who are either <coughs> by, 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 by their own yeah, volition and surrendering and, and, and joining. So you, the, you, you, you may not have, of course, Mr. is going to be a problem, as it has always been. But you should also expect a problem from existing political institutions, either fighting for survival or when you begin you now feasting uh, mm -hmm. on, on the leaders, they are being faced as theirs. So certainly there will be a problem. You will be discussed not only in NTV, but also uh, everywhere where there, is a, where, where there is a political institution. Mm -hmm. I hope, and it has always been my hope, that uh, people who are fighting to free themselves will be able to have a discussion and work together. Uh, because these reforms that uh, you see, this is how I'm saving the response. First, there will be money and there is money. These meetings has been holding. I asked people, if for uh, the last 34 years you've made people rich, then why do you ha have to carry money to meetings to mm -hmm. give them transported funds? That NRM of leaders, yes, mm -hmm. NRM leaders and councillors, including at a district level, have no transport to go to Lugogo to attend a meeting, and even that transport you must come with it. Then no, you don't have to involve yourself in you discussing. You have that challenge in FDC. You have to do transport. <coughs> yeah, because you see, uh, again, I'll, I'll use. So you uh, give a transport to to Kira. Uh, to Kira. Kira. told me <laughs> when you live with a neighbor who butters his wife, he will want everybody to do the same. So he faces less criticism, or nobody can stand up to him. So by the things Ms. Seven has done to NRM and to the county, he wants them done in other parties. Uh, and mm. you, you hear them say, but is there a difference? Mm. They will not tell you that Ms. Seven is good. They will tell you, but you're also not different. Uh, I was mm. about to say the same. Yeah, exactly. So they, that is going to be said and delivered today. So we face it. Politics has been highly commercialized in Uganda. Simple, simple meetings. The first thing people ask is a transport fund. Maybe they haven't faced it. I remember moving with USG. You go to a meeting. Presidential candidate is looking for fuel, but there are also others who are looking uh, uh, for money to print posters. And at the moment you show up, you are in trouble. Uh, they, they, what people power and, 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 and the movement of that nature can help, they may shield you from that responsibility. But the moment you institutionalize, you are in trouble. <laughs> because people who want to stand and they will tell you where I am, I am the only people power. Can you uh, send me this? Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and if you're not sending or phone is sending, so they, they become vulnerable and they want the help. So the real trouble you're going to face now, uh, all of us, this from the way I see the movements on the, on the ground, the troops on the ground, might be the most difficult elections uh, this country has witnessed. Mm -hmm. The soldiers must be freed from their work five days before. Mm -hmm. So should be the police. Of course, so everybody has seen how money is moving. So we are, we are headed for the most difficult elections this country has ever had. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see your phone now. I, I, even the declaration of results <coughs> is going to change. There will even be creation of uh, restricted polling stations. Okay. Mm -hmm. The oh, job mm -hmm. uh, back on the uh, microphone and is uh, Frederick Karamaji here, who is uh, one of those people that are ready for you. He says, I was wondering whether Joe Senegi is in the house or are you replaying his submission on Spectrum last evening? And this was because last <laughs> evening he used the exact words in the same order, even in even intonation. Uh, so says him. Is that the message I saw from the same? Yeah, because you see, um, After, yeah, we, will, we have been will, responding will be like to the same it, questions. It, it will, it will like Please protect problem. me from Jaja O. <laughs> <laughs> We, 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 we have been responding to the same questions and, and we'll keep responding. Uh, one of which being, you know, the denouncements. There's been two MPs that have denounced us. Um, 
and I'm saying it's it's okay. We anticipated this, by the way, as we planned. Yeah, mm. I, I I just I just hope that they would be honest and say, guys, you know, we are under pressure. You know, we had mm. accepted, but we are now backing down. But they're saying we were never consulted. Are you kidding me? How do we come up with the list and announce people that we were not consulting? You know. Uh, but but anyhow, I guess that's politics. You know, many times politicians mm -hmm. are disingenuous, they are dishonest. Yeah, we just have to find yeah, ways yeah, of yeah, dealing yeah, with that. Yeah. But 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 then again, it does not worry us too much because as some jump off, we'll keep moving with I those mean, that are available. Uh, Joel, opposition mm. has had bigger challenges mm. than than just people denying that they've been consulted. That's a small thing. Yeah. Well, uh, the two, by the way, are NRM MPs. Just for the record. Uh, yeah, but, um, you, but but so you why was the launch? Someone didn't answer this one. Why was the launch mm. at? Uh, I, again, I, at, 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 at the risk of sounding like a broken record, uh, we have said it again and again, and at the start of that press uh, statement. Ah, that's all right. Um, look, we <laughs> went across town uh, asking for space from different hotels, and, and they all declined. And some were very honest and said, guys, you know, we, we love you and what you do, but please have mercy on us. Uh, we shall end up in trouble with the regime. And, and we were very understanding. I'm not even too sure I should blame them entirely. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course, we were disappointed that they could not offer us space. Offered. But then again, you try and understand. Because like I said, the big coward in President Museveni wants to inoculate that fear, the same cowardice in everyone else, um, which is unfortunate. And that's why we keep you know, telling people, guys, uh, this man is a lot more fearful of us. So we, we need to keep moving on strongly and facing. Uh, somebody talked about... Um, I think it's Sofono Pond who said NRM is not paying adequate attention to the needs of Ugandans, that's for sure. And that's why we are coming through and saying, look, you know, we have uh, had these guys, they have played their part. It's time to shake up things, you know. It's time to fix institutions. You see, we, we have one big challenge, that we have a big personality as opposed to big institutions. We want that to change. We want to have big institutions that are accountable. We want power to return to people. Today, yeah. people cannot hold their leaders accountable. Our leaders will do whatever it is that they want to do, yeah, and there's they're nothing you're going account. to do about it. Same Why? Me. Because power is taken away from you, Same and they're saying they're holding that has got to sure change. Um, now, if you talked about criticism, look, I'm, I'm, um, I'm one of the biggest lovers of criticism. Um, I like it. I actually like it a lot more. I get many calls of people who appreciate and you know, and say many different things. Uh, but I'll be honest, I appreciate a lot more of the calls that come through and say, guys, clean up here, sort out this, sort out the other. I, I love criticism. Mm -hmm. I, I like to think it Insults makes me better. Well. Whatever you can throw at us, some of us have developed shock absorbers, yeah? But the point is, if somebody's pointing out something that needs to be worked on, I think for me that is welcome. You know, so as they talked about, you know, structures and all these different things, we realized that's something we needed to do. And here we are. And we'll keep strengthening them. And to encourage a number of our colleagues, because, you know, while there's two that have said, no, we're not party to this, there's numerous ones who are complaining and saying, guys, you left us out and so on. Look, we cannot have positions available to everybody. People Power has numerous supporters. We, we can't have everybody on board in, in, in place of a position somewhere. But we are saying, if, if you joined this for the love of uh, not just People Power, but your country wanted to get better, then you should not be too bothered about a position, you know, because I want to imagine you didn't join because you wanted a position. Mm -hmm. So a position has not come. That's all right. Keep mobilizing. So do whatever okay. it is that so you need to do as person. well. Mm -hmm. Joe, let's talk so the break. Person person and I it. want to understand the proposed electoral reforms. I'll go to senior council here yeah, in a short time. We have Madness. Yet. Politicians, <laughs> 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 <laughs>